hi and welcome to another video of yocto tutorial series in this video we are going to learn how can we create a cmake based recipe using dev tool so in this video we are going to create a cmake recipe a project that is based on cmake we will create a recipe for that project then we will make the required changes in the recipe and after that we will test this test the final output into our system so now let us begin so i have also one more example that i have found in github so it is a simple cmake project it says and it prints some output so for that first of all let me copy the link and this time you can see that it is the master branch so we don't have to we don't need to give some explicit branch name so i will go back to vs code and here first of all let me source the environment after that i will do dev tool space add and the name of the recipe that i will give it is simple cmake and then the link this time i'm also giving the version i'll say 1.0.0 and now let us create so the recipe has been created successfully now let's go inside workspace recipes and simple cmake here first of all we will see the recipe simple cmic and here you can see that we have some notes it says license is being set close to allow you to at least start building if this is not accurate with respect to the license so we can change the license things and we can also let me change this first of all or yes of course i will change it and then there yeah this is a very important thing that you can see that how uh, intelligent and how powerful our dev tool is that it has uh, automatically inherited the required class that we need to build the this recipe so it has automatically inherited this and here is the extra OEC make so this is a variable which is used to pass some arguments or parameters to the CMake file so as you can you also know that there is the extra OE make that is used to pass or override the variable in make file so it is same as extra OE make but instead here we have your extra OE C make to override or to pass a very uh, to pass arguments to the cmake file so now let us try to build first of all we'll do dev tool build simple cmake so it is building now So this time we have an error. So the error is unknown target install. So this is an error because the CMake, the output, the Yocto or this big build system or Yocto build system does not know where to install the target. For that, first of all, let us go inside the sources. And here simple CMake, if we see. Here you can see that not in the sources here we can see that the other sources but uh, to see where our 
final build is for that what we need to do is we need to see the sources uh, not here but let me do inside the build folder let me do bit big minus e simple c make grab p for the build folder if you don't know why here is p and how do i know please watch my video on basic uh, variables in yocto and also how to they have also shown how to find the value of a variable so now let's see the parts of the build folder it may take a while yes here now we have the part of the build folder i'll copy this part and now here in the other terminal i'll go cd and the paste the parts so now we are inside and here you can see that we have a final binary which is the main so we need to install this into our system for that what we need to do is we'll do do install to install and here we'll do first of all we need to install the directory and i want to install this into the destination parts and inside user bin so the variable for the user bin is bin dir after that i will install this binary with the permission of 777 from my build which is inside build to my destination inside destination it will be inside with the IR so I hope it works so now let us go back to this terminal and we'll do build once again dev tool build simple c make we'll wait So now as you can see that this time the build has been successful without any error we can again go back to our build and we'll go and stay and step back and i will go into images if you go into images user bin so here you can see the main now what we'll do is we will try to deploy it in our target and we'll see if it is working so we'll do dev tool deploy target and the name simple c make here you, sh you should note that we write the name of the recipe not the name of the final binary so it will remain simple c make and the target is root at 2.168.7.2 password once again and it has been deployed so now we'll go to our machine our target and here what we'll do is first of all we'll do which main so it says that it is in user bin main so now we run main and it says hello from main hello from wrapper hello from this is the code that we don't need to understand this is some because it is uh, out of our scope and the cmake uh, list and cmake files all of those things are out of the scope of this video in this video we are only learning how to create a cmake 
uh, recipe based on CMake build system. So now it has been working. We will undeploy it. Undeploy. Password. Once more. And then now we'll finish it. We'll do def tool finish simple C make and the path I'll say okay meta tab layer here I am not giving the name of the recipe folder so it will automatically create one for us if it does not find any suitable recipe folder so we'll do this enter and it has created so it is now inside it has created automatically a folder name recipe symbol cmix so if we go there meta tab recipe simple and here you find the recipe so here is our final recipe that we can use to build this particular cmake based code so but keep in mind that this is only the change the other code may have some different conditions and some different changes that we have to make we have all we it, it is also possible that we need to send some extra arguments or we need to override some variables using this extra oec make so it depends on the code what kind of code it is how a cmake uh, list file is, has been created so it depends on each and every case because each and every code is different so this is video is to give some kind of idea so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching